So we're real fans of the Royal Enfield brand at Knox. And we've come to just have a little look at their brand new concept bike, the KX concept. I'm Aaron, this is Mark, uh, oh. Chief Engineer, I think, Mark. No, no, I'm, so my job title is the longest job title in the world, which right, is go on. Head of Product Strategy and Industrial Design. Oh um, my goodness. So my job is to envisage the new bikes that we're gonna make, uh, create documents that brief the teams on what we're gonna do, and then I also lead the industrial design team that are in, responsible for the way the bike looks, the, the sort of human factors of it, mostly the styling, but also sort of touch and feel and that sort of stuff. Fantastic, so big uh, big job, and we're really excited about this new concept bike that we've just seen. Uh, concept KX. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about it. So yeah, so this started, um, so Royal Enfield, we go back to, to 1901, Yes. And, um, and obviously we've been synonymous with the singles and we're known for our singles. Um, but in the interwar years, we were really well known for the V-twins that we made. Um, sure. And so um, we had a, the, the sort of the top of the range was a model called the KX, which was an 1140cc. Yeah, well, I've seen it at uh, the back, actually. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so this, and it was sold as being the last word in, in luxury motorcycling. Okay. And, um, and we bought one a little while ago for the UK Tech Centre. So we have a, we have a little okay. collection of um, classic motorcycles, classic Royal Enfields. And we have them there really just to help inspire and, and show yeah, people yeah. you know, where we've come from, what our heritage is. And so, you know, walking past that every day, seeing it every day, it's got this wonderful proportion. It's got these 19 inch rims and this very kind of flat and low look to it. And there's just this desire to do something with it. So we, we sure. kicked off a project um, about April last year, where we started, basically we had some 19 inch rims and an old petrol tank and some bits of foam, and we sort of arranged them and said, that would be awesome, let's do something like that. So we, we wrote a brief and we got the, the industrial design team to start doing some sketches, and, um, and it grew from there really. And, and we, didn't, it, we didn't start it, it was a project really that was just set to, to allow the team to work, to do something without the constraints of production, without, you know, because it's nice sometimes not to have to worry about regulations and production and all that stuff. Sure, absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, so we, we basically kicked the project off. We, we did a, a fairly intense sketch program. Um, we, we had a couple of, of sketch directions uh, and then okay. moved into clay. Okay. Um, we developed a clay model. We did two halves. Okay. So two slightly different concepts with the same, same idea, but yeah, two yeah, different yeah. directions. Okay. Um, and then on the back of that, we started building the model about, uh, I guess, four months ago. Um, so it's, it's purely a concept. It's purely a, a design exploration. It sure, does. Sure obviously show a, a window onto what we might do in the future. Well, of course it does, and I'll tell you what, the interest has been absolutely... It's been fantastic. It's been bonkers, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Every time I've been on this stand, um, you know, at the ICMA show, it's just been, everyone's been around this bike, loving it, and, and I think I think the, the other guy, um, I can't remember his name, but he's absolutely sick to death of people saying, is this for sale? Is this for sale? <laughs> yeah. Of course, everyone wants the next thing, yeah, don't absolutely. they? O always. And, so, um, I mean, it, as I say, but it this, looks amazing. This right? definitely isn't a production motorcycle, yeah, sure. and there's lots of details on it that you know we couldn't do or couldn't be tested or validated. Okay. But what it does do is, is a, I think it illustrates that the brand can do more than just single cylinders. And obviously, our new parallel twins show that already. And yes. so this is just a continuing expansion of, of that brand position. And, and everything we do at Royal Enfield needs to be driven by our story. You know, so if you think of the the Himalayan, that yes. was driven by the fact that. We had people taking bullets and classics up to the hills and, and riding the bikes up to the Himalayas. Uh, the twins, you know, we, we did that because we had this wonderful interceptor in our heritage and we have this wonderful cafe racer backstory. Um, and so this is just another kind of extrapolation of that is that there's yeah. this great motorcycle in our past. And, and so, you know, there's an opportunity to do something with it. And I think what it shows is, is that the brand has that versatility, that there's more we can do with it. Nice. And um, so whilst Whilst you won't see this in production in the future, you might see something inspired by, yeah. by. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, well, I'm, um, I'm, but yeah, the response has been brilliant, and we're just delighted that people yeah, like it. And that's fantastic. Well, I'm sure you'd have plenty of customers for it, uh, perhaps <laughs> including me as well. Yeah, so, yeah, real fan. Good, uh, absolutely good, good, love good. it. So, hey, thanks so much, Mark, for no taking problem. the time to have a chat with us. Um, of course, as well. Um, you know, we've got the Interceptor and GT, uh, Continental GT yeah. 650 um, going to start going out to public. I think next week you said they're going That's right, to so, they're, they're being sh so they're, they're starting shipping, so they've got eight weeks on a boat, I think. So okay. we'll start seeing them. The first demo bikes uh, will be in stores in around about January time. And in the UK? In the UK, and customers wow, will start fantastic. seeing them in, in February uh, is, is right. the plan at the moment. Right. So exciting times. Um, and obviously, so we've made the price announcements on those. And, and again, that seems to have gone down really well. We've had a, yeah. I think people were expecting them to be a bit higher. And we've, we've, we're really keen 
that Royal Enfields are desirable, and hopefully we've yes. nailed that. Everybody's seen the bike and thought yes. this is great. Yeah. But they're also accessible. They're not, yeah, of course. you know, they're, they're something that you can you can own, you can have. You've maybe got a bit of spare money to buy some kit, to buy some accessories, you know, make it your own. Sure. That's really important to us. So we've come in at a price point that's king, um, and we're hoping that's going to going to you know get us that momentum and get people onto these bikes and and out riding them because you know we want to grow the market we want to see new people Absolutely. coming in and riding and, motorcycles. And, and, and for me that's a really exciting thing about what you guys are doing and, yeah. and, and, and I see I see new blood coming into the into the market hopefully with these with these new models and a bit of inspiration I'll tell you what when we took out the classic 500 earlier in the year um, we were testing a few bikes at the same time and you know everyone bypassed the other bike that we had which is a really good looking bike always went to the classic and there's and something brilliant fun about it. i mean it's so there is, yeah you know they're not demonstrably i guess you know in terms of, of numbers there's lots of other bikes that you could say well this is a better bike because yeah, it, it or has makes more power or yeah, exactly whatever, you know but in terms of outright character in terms of yeah. uh, something that puts a smile on your face the classics sure. are brilliant for it you know and, and sure. get a couple of people on classics together you can have a load of fun gosh yeah uh, that's, that's really great yeah okay well thanks so much mark Thank really you. appreciate it brilliant thanks and, very much uh, cheers buddy brilliant